Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you this morning, O Lord, for the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us into your sanctuary this morning. Our hearts, O Lord, are full of praise unto you. Lord, our needs, O God, we offer thanks. We offer thanks to the Lord, O Lord. We pour adoration unto you, for you are one, O Lord. 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 You are one, O Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you sure you are thanking God this morning? Are you sure you are lifting up your voices up to Him? Give Him thanks this morning. Give Him thanks this morning. He's worthy of our prayer. He's worthy of our adoration. Thank you, Lord, for the love of all that you have done. We return all the glory unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. This morning you're going to pray for yourself and say, Father, I have come to your sanctuary this morning. Lord, bless me, O oh God. Bless me, O oh God. Are there things in your heart? Are there things you want to come before the Lord? Lord, show me your mercy this morning. Lord, that I will be blessed with your service. I will not just come here the same way and go back home the same way. Lord, I have come before you, Lord, of command. The Bible tells us we are so free of God that we pray your means. Lord, I have come to God before you this morning. Open your mouth and begin to make some those things. Lord, I receive your God from you. On the throne of mercy, your God, this morning. Father, make a kaya baba. Lord, I have come to God unto you. Father, do not tell me where we say we have come. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, everyone here will be blessed. Abundantly in the name of Jesus. Burdens will be lifted. Things will go away. In the name of Jesus. There shall be answers to all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to hear your amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I read on Psalm 141, and the Bible tells us, it said, let my prayer be set before you as incense. The lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice. We're going to lift up our hands this morning. The Holy Spirit is here this morning. You're going to raise your hands like you're here and ask the Lord of something. Lord, I have come before you. Let your will be done in my life. Are you sure you want to pray that prayer? Pray this prayer this morning. Raise up those hands as a sacrifice unto the Lord. Pour your heart before him this morning. Pour your heart before him this morning. Lord, I have come before you. Lord, I cry, O God. Hear my cry, O God. And show me mercy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us into your service this morning. Thank you, Lord, because we are alive. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Lord, we appreciate you for your goodness. We say, Lord, may we Lord be praised in the name of Jesus. We cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. We ask, Lord, that because we have come here in your sanctuary, we will not go home this day. Everyone here, as our faces are different, so Lord, our requests are different. Before the throne of the Almighty, we ask Lord, attend to everyone in the name of Jesus. Lord, everybody to the road away. Hearts that are heavy with light. Lord, as many that are sick this morning, even those online who are in the houses watching, we ask Lord that healing. We locate them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask Lord that your word will bless us mightily. Amen. Lord, that oh God, when we are set to leave, indeed we will say we will bless. Amen. We cover this service with the blood of Jesus. Lord, Jesus. We ask Lord that your spirit will walk with us. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And the people of the Lord will shout in eager, Amen. Amen. You can clap in, clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to welcome every one of us to Divine Assembly Ministries. Hallelujah. Can you smile to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're welcome? Hallelujah. I said, give them a smile. Hallelujah. You're welcome. 
God bless you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hallelujah. 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 Welcome to church. This is a family church, so we look after everyone. And the Lord will look after us indeed in Jesus' name. Uh, we want to welcome especially those who are joining us uh, for the very first time. Um, if perhaps today is your first time, we want to say a warm welcome to you. Hallelujah. Uh, do we have any more worship of us at the first time? Can we celebrate them? Hallelujah. Can you please join your Hallelujah church? Let's celebrate The Lord who has ordered their steps to be here, they will be blessed. Open your mouth and pray that prayer for them. As they have joined us, their stories will change for good. The Lord will touch them mightily. The Lord indeed will bless them. In the name of Jesus, let them be blessed mightily. Let the Lord attend to them especially. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, we thank you for these ones who have joined us. Thank you, Lord, for ordering that steps to join us here. We ask, Lord, that every area of your life that needs attention, the God of divine and ministries, will touch them and touch you the in the name of Jesus. For henceforth, we shall be testimony. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. On behalf of the pastor and ministers, we want to welcome you to divine and ministries. Um, we want to say please, at close of service, don't rush away. Uh, please feel, we would like you to get your details so that we can also follow up with you and be a blessing to you. The Lord be able to bless you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, we want to announce the days of our fellowship. Just like today, we have the family worship service, um, who starts by 10 a.m. Uh, first, we have workers coming in by 9.30 to begin uh, the prayer session. And then by 10, we start with a Sunday school. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of us are blessed today in Sunday school? Yeah. If you are blessed, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. So please, why you are blessed, invite others to come. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, let's join our Sunday school and also learn Jesus' faith. Sunday school is the time for you to also ask questions and interact where you're not clear. The Lord will bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, after the service, usually on Sundays, we have fellowship. We have a fellowship group for us to also interact and socialize and also um, have conversations that are outside of the church uh, hall. So please feel free. Don't rush away. Uh, we know sometimes our schedules can really be very busy, but we ask you to create time interact with the people of the Lord. And the blessed, best place to be is actually in the presence and in the house of the Lord. The Lord in will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. And on Tuesday, we have a powerful time for prayers. Prayer is key. Praise the Lord. Amen. Prayer is key. So please, every Tuesday, we have our prayer meetings, both here, physically in church, and also online, the time is 7 p.m. So please, make it as a point of duty to join in the prayer session. There's no distance in the spiritual realm. There's no distance. So if you cannot come here physically, please join online if it's convenient and pray. Seek the Lord. And prayers of the saints really have been led Lord. And the Lord indeed will hear all our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. And on Friday, it's study time. Can someone say study time? Study time. It's a time to be empowered. 
That's our Bible study. It's a time to look at the scriptures and also examine those areas as applicable to us. We usually have this on Zoom. So at 7 p.m., if you're in the church platform, you always find the link so you can connect. Please, let's connect. You need the word. You need that word. The word of God give it life. And it give it more abundantly. So please join as we learn from the feet of Jesus. And then every last Tuesday is our communion service. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate Jesus? Our communion service holds every last Tuesday of the month. We do this communion in remembrance of Christ. 7 p.m. is the time. And then last Friday of the month is the month. Last Friday of the month is our women's DG. Women shout hallelujah. 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 And women, they come every last Friday for video. They first have fellowship. And when we say fellowship, we mean they dine together and then begin to pray. You can imagine what it means when women come. They dine and then they start to pray. God bless our women in Jesus' name. It's indeed a blessing. God bless all our women in Jesus' name. Amen. Every first Friday of the month is our congregational video. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayer is not too much. Make up the time. Last Friday, you can put that in your calendars. Every last Friday of the month, please, let's gather to pray. The time is 11 p.m. I will close quickly for those who are going to work so you can go. But from 11, we'll start to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, we want to inform uh, the congregation that we have trained counselors, qualified um, perhaps you hear you want some very frank conversations you want to talk to someone um, we have an office available where you can talk to someone perhaps it doesn't want to be pastor you want to talk something different uh, we have a safe space where you can have those conversations so please feel free to uh, prompt on any of the ushers or ministers um, these conversations are quite confidential perhaps you don't want to talk to someone else you want just very confidential uh, discussions. We have trained counselors who can also counsel you. And as you do, the Lord will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time for testimony. Hallelujah. Do we have testimonies in the house? Do we have testifiers in the house? Hallelujah. See what now? Do we have any more? Every one of us should have a testimony, actually. Is it not so? Yes. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Osha, can we get the mic of course? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God first of all for safety. Um, few, for a few months or few weeks now, I'll be, my the direction of my work will change to Eastridge. So it's almost driving to Eastridge and coming back all the time and the highway coming and all that. So I want to thank God for safety. Yeah. And secondly, Hallelujah. I want to thank God for. Uh, a pastor is being at the wife for intersection. You know, sometimes things work for us, we don't know people are interceding. So it's good to be recognized. A few days ago, I know, a few weeks or months, we discussed with them about our house issue and all that. So at the time, I relaxed about it. I said, okay, let's, let's just manage the house and stay and look for house now. Yeah. So, but something just came up. It was the uh, ending of the month. The, the contract expired for one, one year. So normally, you decide whether to stay or not. Seven days to it, the landlord said uh, I should make arrangement to, I think seven days or two weeks, I should make arrangement or sign a new contract. I said, I've not been able to see house. How do I make arrangement? He said, sign a contract from 880 pounds to 1,002. Uh -huh. <laughs> And it's one bedroom flat. So we just saw it and like, because he knew I was struggling to get a house. So I think uh, my wife communicated. So prayers are known that I was asking God, I'm tired about looking for house. What do I do? See, it was just in one week, God answered that prayer. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who has done that? Jesus. We celebrate the goodness of God and that testimony. Indeed, our God is a good God. Do we have any other testifiers? Um, there are those who are online, please do well to post your testimonies 
of what the Lord has done. We know the Lord is doing a lot of things. So if you're online, please post your testimonies. Indeed, our God is good. Can we just rise to give him thanks? Can we rise to give him thanks? Just say, Father, thank you. As you're thanking God, you're the next to testify. Thank you. Let's go ahead and give him thanks. The giver of life, the keeper of life. If you are excited this morning, go ahead and bless him. We give you all. Focus is on verse 18. Are we together? Yes. Matthew 28. I read from 16 to 20. But our focus is verse 18. I read. Then the eleven disciples went away to Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And look, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. This morning, I want to admonish us on the title, Using Your Power and Authority in Jesus. What you have, if you don't use it, you might lose it. We have authority in the name of Jesus Christ. You must be audacious when it comes to authority. Hallelujah. Amen. Apart from Jesus came to die for our sin, Matthew 1 21, he came as a savior. First John 3 18, I believe, or 8. For this purpose, Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy. Also, he came to show us how to live. But above all, he wants us to exercise his authority here on earth. Over situation, God wants us to exercise the authority in his name. Deliberately, there's a story in the Bible, Matthew 21, the fig tree. Matthew 21, I read 18 to 21. Matthew 21, 18 to 21. Now in the morning, as he returned to the city, he was hungry. 
and seen a fig tree by the road. He came to it and found nothing on it but leaves. And he said to it, Let no fruit grow on you ever again. And immediately the fig tree withered. Jesus did this just to show us. He was deliberate about that. There's no point doing that. But he was just showing. Bible says in the book of Romans 15, 13, I believe that everything written in the Bible is for our learning. What you have, if you don't use it, you have to be blamed. So he was deliberate about this. And this is expected of you and I today. I pray for somebody from today. The authority of Jesus in your life will begin to work wonders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Situation will begin to align to you when you use the authority in the name of God. But to use the authority, something must be present in your life. And that is faith. Where we read Matthew 28, he said he called them to himself. Guess what? Some doubted. Matthew 28, look at that verse 17. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And that is the issue in church today. It's not about coming to church. It's about having faith. It's not about being a worker. Some people will pray, they will fast, but still they don't even believe in what they are doing. Faith must be present in our hearts. When you are coming to church, you don't forget to come with your mobile phone. Even if you bring your Bible, it's good. But if you don't come with faith, it's a waste of time. I know some people, even in this church just now, and in everywhere, after the service, they are still going to another service. They go to White Garden Church, from there to go to Multicolor Church, everywhere. It's lack of faith. Thank God for online churches everywhere now. 6 a.m. prayer after that, they join. in fact, some people join two at the same time. No, that is not. I'm not saying you cannot pray anywhere else. But you must put faith in God. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Luke 18, verse 8. Please, I want you to judge note. Luke 18, somebody can read to me. Verse 8, that's the last verse, I believe. Jesus says something very important. Luke 18, verse 8. Anyone? Mm-hmm. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall you find faith on him? Shall you find what? Faith. faith. Very, very important as you claim to be a Christian. Not when I return will I find those who are praying or those who are giving tithes or those who know scripture. All these are good, don't get me wrong. But without faith, it's nothing. Hebrews 11, one of the places you must be reading at least once a week, talks about people of faith, hero of faith. Hebrews 11 says, without faith, you cannot be scared. You will see, by faith, Abraham did this. By faith, Enoch. By faith, Adam. By faith, Noah. What about you? I want you to ask yourself that question. What about you? Am I walking in in faith? Hebrews 11, are you there? The subject of faith cannot be undermined. No matter what is going on in the world. We have not seen anything. You think you have seen churches? You think you have seen prophets? We have not seen anything. Because we are in a perilous time. Some people are still coming, they will tell you, even Bible is not the word of God. Somebody said that here last week Friday. <laughs> I mean, last week Sunday. Bible is what? It's the word of God. 
Time is coming. Go and write it down. You go to some church. They call it the same church. They will not use Bible. I'm telling you. It's dead. Scripture cannot be broken. These are the signs to tell us the end. That's it. He said, Jesus can show up any time from now. You and I will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You must have faith in God for you to exercise authority in his name. You can write this Bible verses down. Faith is the only subject that was mentioned five times in the Bible. Only faith. Romans 1 17. Let's read it briefly, quick, quick, quick. Please put it on for us. It's always good to read the word together. Are we there? Romans 1 17. Yes. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, mm -hmm. both springing from faith and leading to faith, mm -hmm. disclosed in a way that awakens more faith. Mm -hmm. As it is written and forever remains written, the just that just and upright mm -hmm. shall live by faith. Amen. Amen. Galatians 3 11. Everybody, Hebrews 10 38, Abaku 2 4, and 2 Corinthians 5 17. You can read anyone. Galatians. Five times. 3 11. Yes, God bless you. Galatians 3, 3 11. But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God mm -hmm. is evident. For the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. How about book 2 4? <coughs> the just shall live by his faith. And 2 Corinthians 5 17. Anyone? 2 Corinthians 5 17. 2 Corinthians 5 17. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, mm -hmm. Yes. Five seven. I beg your pardon. Second Corinthians five seven. For we walk by faith, mm -hmm. and not by sight. Five times. For you to know how important faith is to God. Look at Hebrews ten thirty eight. Please pay attention. Hebrews ten thirty eight. Now that just shall live by faith. But if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. It means if you are not walking by faith, God is not happy with you. When you have faith in God, you know what? God is smiling upon you. About Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe. You are in God's presence today. Do you believe? Yes. That he is and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him diligently. So for authority to be released, he has to be through faith. Jesus said that victory must be with that now. And instantly, that tells us when faith is intact, miracle will be instant. Did you hear that? When faith is intact in you, whatever declaration you make shall be what? Instant. But you must demonstrate it. When you see situation facing you, don't be afraid. Use the name of Jesus. Try it. It's like praying for the sick. Have you tried? Pray. If there's no result, what do you do again? You pray. But God will always honor his word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say God will honor his word in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't weep over situations. Child of God. We don't do what? We don't weep over situations. And that is what many of us are doing. You are confronted with a challenge and situation and you are weeping. I want to tell you that God knows about that situation. He wants you to demonstrate your truth. You have it in you. 
As long as you are giving your life to Jesus, you have the authority in you. God will honor his word. Use that authority. Be audacious. When they come to the name of Jesus, that in the name of Jesus, this situation must bow for me. And it will bow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Guess what? Mountains are meant to bow. Demons are supposed to submit to you. However, there are prerequisites to this. There are prerequisites to authority and power. And what is it? Submission. Open your Bible to the book of James 4 7. Somebody can read that. James 4 7. Therefore, submit to God. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil. Without submission, if you use the authority, it will not work. Don't let us deceive ourselves. It's a prerequisite power. If you cannot submit to God, God cannot honor his word in your life. I've had the pastor preaching on like that. Even when faith is not when faith is not working, you can fake it. No, don't fake it. There's no fun faking it. It's not working, it's not working. Simple as that. Submit to God and resist, not assist. Resist the devil. He will flee from you. I profess as we go from today. Devil will begin to bow and flee from us in the mighty name of Jesus. But we must submit. Submission comes first. Many of us, we cannot submit to the word of God. God is speaking to you. Don't do this, don't do that. But you know what you wanted to do. Like one, one of the things we taught in Sunday school today. If you cannot obey God, you cannot obey pastor. You can't. Many of us, we are praying to God, do this, do this, but we have fraternity. We know what you wanted to do. You know. You are just fooling God. God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man should. Galatians 6 says. God cannot be fooled. That scripture is powerful. Submit to God. If you are struggling in any area of your life, the solution is submission. You submit. God is not done yet with you. You submit. Go to God in prayer. Lord, I submit to you. And you will see how you begin to use the authority in the name of Jesus. And situation will begin to bow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Luke 4.14 The Spirit of the Lord led Jesus into wilderness. He was there for 40 days and 40 nights. What happened after that? Ten came, six times. We just trying to wrap it up. But Bible says Jesus will return in power. As soon as Jesus disobeyed, that you know what? I'm not going to the wilderness. Wilderness is not a good place. So without submission, there's no power. Without submission, there's no authority. Without submission, there is no provision. People want prosperity today, but it must be purity before prosperity. We don't want to live a holy life, but we want money. There's this pastor in London. <laughs> I, I can't mention his own It's not on media anymore now. Some of us, we know him. They use green, all their thing, green, green. He just came out from nowhere. Boom! It's a Nigeria evil guy. Miracle everywhere. Within five years, it's no more anymore. The church is not even there anymore. In back, in many of us will know the church. Green, everything green. People will tell you, I don't care whatever power is using, I just want miracle. The guy made money within five years from people. So you say you can't believe God. Yeah, I will, I will show you. Make money, good money. 
Within five years, he divorced his wife, marry another one. I'm telling you, crowd within five years. That's what people are looking for. Purity before prosperity. If you are looking for any how miracle, this is not your church. You are looking for where they cannot tell you the truth, the word of God. No. We must submit to God. You are the worker in the house of God. Submit to the authority. Submit. It's the word of God. Now, when you submit, the devil will flee from you. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number two thing you need to do, submit to those God has placed over you. Some wife can never submit to the husband. Ah, especially in this Western world. Ah, my God. And it's causing trouble. It's causing trouble. I can go anywhere, anywhere I like. I can do whatever. No. God has placed that man over you. There's nothing you can do. I will tell you the truth. If you want to follow the pattern of this world, this environment in your marriage, your marriage will not work. Up. Take it or leave it. It won't work. Because you are working against the will of God. We are equal. Man and woman are equal. Oh, that is your house, not my house. Anytime I have opportunity to speak to couples, you talk, you talk, you don't hear. Me, I'm a very good person. At the end of the day, it's your family. It's not my family, it's your family. And I know men who like to lie up the boss. So I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling the word of God. But at the end of the day, it's your house. And that's it. Let's submit. Why submit to your husband? Husband, listen to your wife according to the word of God. Workers, God has placed some people over you. Listen to them. No man is an island. I'm a pastor, I have a spiritual father. I have people who are submitted to. If you have nobody in your life that can speak to you, you are heading for destruction. You will not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody can talk to you. Your friend, your pastor, your parents, nobody. Uh-huh. Go and check yourself. Even Jesus submitted to God. Is that not true? So who are you? Number three. Total humility. If my people who are called by my name shall what? All the names. Then I will answer that prayer. Mm-hmm. Beloved, humility is a step to greatness. You want to be great in life, humble yourself. Humble yourself. You don't know me? You don't know me? Uh, who are you? Beloved, you are nobody. Without God, you are nobody. Apostle Paul said, I am what I am by what? By the grace of God. We have many ministers here. <laughs> See one thing about me when I'm preaching like this. Something I'm not supposed to say, but when we drop it, I have to say it. I'm not called by man. They came, ministers, all the ministers. I checked them in the spirit. God said, This one cannot listen. All he wanted to do is to be geo. To be known as what? If God has not called you to be a Jew, God called you to stay with somebody, you better do it with joy. And they left. And they have been doing that from one church to another. In fact, some will use them very well. Promise them ordination when it's time, they will say, You can go. I called him. You can't continue like this. And he's so gifted. I would say you shall know them by the, their fruit, not by their gift. Because you are gifted. You can blow grammar. They know you. you can. That is not life. 
That doesn't matter. If God has planned a non-entity to lead you, you better listen. I'm telling you. You better listen. If God has placed somebody you think you are better off, you better listen. If you don't listen, God will not jump the principles. He's a God of principles. God is speaking to someone this morning. Many of us Christians are so arrogant. We are so arrogant. Many wives we know you in church. Oh, glory. Without two minutes, you are speaking in tongues. I told you, you are a devil. I'm telling you. Some husbands, if you see them at home, oh, yeah, yeah. Even their children cannot play with them. You come to church, you start telling us, no, 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 no. Who are you fooling? Submit to God and resist the devil. We feel from you. Why are we praying so much? There's no result. Why are we doing so much and we receive little? Let's check our life. Let's check our life. As I'm talking now, what is in your heart towards somebody? Christians are coming together. To bring somebody down. Christians. Pastors. Leaders. Parents. Don't get involved in things like that. You have your own children. Anytime you want to do evil. You better think of tomorrow. Ah, Think of tomorrow. I went somewhere one day. The wife doesn't want to see the. Husband family at all. My man, husband in Nigeria, they are struggling even to eat. The man is here working. Mama, Yahoo, everybody. <laughs> me, I don't care. You call me to come and talk. They say, You have children. You have somebody. You want somebody to do this to you. And she was looking down. This is the word of God. Whatever a man suffers. There's nothing you can do against it. There's nothing you can do against the truth. You shall know the truth and truth will set you free. Simple as that. I know God is God of mercy. But you know what? God can condone weakness. But not wickedness. Affliction is common to every man. Every man, every woman, all that stuff, you have a weakness. If you go to God in prayer, God will help you. But if you are a wicked person, God will destroy you. That's why God destroys everyone. God cannot condone wickedness. Wives, as you go home today, don't do what you cannot take. Before you slap somebody, why can't you slap yourself first? And see how it feels. Let's humble ourselves. Let's submit and walk in love and begin to use the name of Jesus and the power and authority. And then we'll bow before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When God submitted to Jesus, when Jesus submitted to God, beg your pardon, what happened? Philippians 2 5 to 11. Let's stand up. Philippians 2. 5 to 11. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in form of God. Can you see? Jesus is God, but he did not consider it robbery to be equal with who? With God. He made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a born servant, coming in the likeness of men because of you and I. And being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient, even to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Look at that verse 9. Therefore, God also, God will reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
You see, before God will reward somebody, you know what God will do first? He will remember you. May God now remember our sins in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because whenever God remembers somebody, the next thing that will follow is reward. And whatever a man sow, you know that scripture? Can you see? Let's be careful what we are sowing. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every other name. Ah, tell me anywhere this word that the name of Jesus has not been mentioned. Or because he humbled it. Total submission. You see some family, affluent family. They are in Lagos. Don't you know us? We are coca. The name of Jesus is beyond them. You don't know us. You don't do this. We are actually a miss. Don't fool yourself. Anytime you place too much importance on yourself, you are heading to destruction. You are nobody. Let this word ring in you on you. I'm telling you. Don't allow that thought. First Corinthians 10 13. If any man think he's standing, Bible says, be careful. Take it. Thoughts are from thoughts. I'm somebody. I'm me. I'm this. My name. My this. Yeah. It's nothing. It's nothing. See it as grace. Whatever you have, this is by the grace of God. And God will continue to increase you. Yeah. He won't put himself. And God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Not only that, that at the name of Jesus, every name should bow on those in heaven, on those on earth, and on those under the head. And every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of all because you know what That's what Satan missed. He was fighting the throne with God. Can you see that? Somebody humbled. He was exalted. Somebody was fighting and he was struggling. Elisha humbled for Elijah. What happened? He got double portion. What about Gyasi? He lost everything. Gehazi is supposed to take double portion from Elijah. So Elijah died. Elisha died with power. That's why his dead body raised the dead. You study the Bible very well. God has placed people around you to help you, but they are watching your character. You never know as you are going on the street, somebody is coming and God is speaking to them. Help them. And you just walk past. Even they greet you. Who, who asked you to greet me? You greet some people on the road, they don't even answer. Who are you? Who are you talking to? You will not destroy yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some people claim you witches and wizards is disturbing them. No, I say no, it's your behavior. <laughs> I'm telling you, some people is not household enemy. It's their behavior. You miss the way they will look at you. You will feel like you should go and die. They look, they won't talk, but they look. Who is this one? And these are the people God want to use for you. Don't think because you are here, your friends back home are now nobody. Ah, it's a matter of time, sir. Some people are here in this country before you. I remember the year I was told me. I met him and he said he's been living here for 30 years. He's tired, he wants to go and reverse. For me, ah, here is everything for me then. I just want to enter. And he has been here for 30 years. He's a very good doctor. He said he's tired. He said there's nothing in this country. I said, sir, there's everything. Me and the body here. You've been here for 30 years. Let me go and express it too. But he has been here, his wife, grandchildren, and he said it's time to go. And that's it. Let this mind be in you as you go this way. Let this mind be in you as you go everywhere. 
Obedient to God must be a lifeline. Not once. Not weekly things. Not when you like. A lifestyle. And the Lord will promote you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said the Lord will promote you in the mighty name of Jesus. See our time because of our time. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, let my situation begin to conform to your will for my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Now go ahead and pray. Use the authority in the name of Jesus. Situation will conform to you. Pray that prayer very well. I command, use the authority. You will pray less when you humble yourself and you are now using the name of Jesus and the authority in the name of Jesus. Situation will begin to conform to the will of God for your life. Pray that prayer very well. I command, declare, use the authority, be audacious now in your prayer. Be bold to speak, be bold to speak. In the name of Jesus, I command the situation to favor me. That's how to pray when you humble yourself. As I step out of today's service, situation will begin to confirm the will of God for my life. You can open your eyes, be bold. Please release the world. Release the world with courage. This week shall favor me. It's going to be a good week. It's going to be a week of signs and wonder. Declare, declare, declare. Use the authority in the name of Jesus. Let situation begin to conform to the will of God for my life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. See after me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I receive grace to submit to the authority of the word of God. And I will submit to the authority of the word of God. You will not struggle. You want to do something? God said, don't. Don't worry. You don't do it. He has a better plan for you. This last prayer, and you are going to speak to the new man. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to submit to the authority in the word of God. Go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer very well. I receive grace to submit to the authority of the world. I receive grace. His grace is more than enough. Open your mouth. Ask him to give you the grace. To obey him later. I receive the grace. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to submit to the authority of your world. To submit to every authority you have placed over my head. In the name of Jesus. Now let's go ahead and speak to the new week. What do you want God to do? Reveal your expectation to him. We declare on this mountain last week that it's going to be a week of divine intervention. And God did it. It's not me, it's God. Decree. We know that anytime we pray, God always answers our prayer on this mountain. Decree by faith. Don't doubt. Decree by faith. Remember to use the authority. Decree in the name of Jesus is a week of miracle. Decree in the name of Jesus is a week of help. Decree in the name of Jesus is a week the air part of destiny will locate you. Decree that this week you will not cry. Please decree. I ask you to decree. That's the last prayer. Decree. Decree. Listen. Decree. Obey the word of God. Decree by faith. 
Don't limit God. For with God, all things are possible. Ask for great and mighty things. Decree that evil is not your portion. Are we praying? Decree divine protection upon yourself. Decree the Lord will look after you. And he will bless you. Decree that you end this month well. If somebody is owing you something, something as God put in my heart, please pray. That brother, as somebody is holding your money, pray. That God will touch his heart. They will release what belongs to you. Use the authority in the name of Jesus. And you will come back to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. I have assurance in the name of Jesus. Now let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Let's raise our hand, raise the song, bless him. Let's adore the name of Jesus for today's service. Don't allow any doubt in your mind. Believe that God has done you well this one in answer your prayer. Believe that you will return with testimony. Believe that you will sing a new song. God bless you. See what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. Sing that song in faith. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your people as they go this week. Command your blessing to flow in their direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray this week will be a week of uncommon assistance. Amen. 
from uncommon vessels. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you believe, say amen. Amen. And you will see the hand of God in the mighty name of Jesus amen. Christ. I pray as you go this week, because you believe God, signs and wonders and miracles, testimonies, breakthroughs, all this shall follow you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree upon somebody now, grace you needed for the race of your life is being released now in the name of Jesus Christ. It's our month of honor. Many of us, we have many expectations. Scripture says, the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. In the order of his word, may this be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you and I have set the Lord before us. I decree by the authority of the word of God. Nothing will move you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whoever gather against you and I, the word of God will bring judgment upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Before next week, Sunday, that expectation of yours, that desire, is led by declare to bring signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Some of you are knocking some doors. Say, Lord, when are you going to open this door? When are you going to do these things? I decree between now and Sunday, you will receive good news in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you will receive good news in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are trusting God for your papers, for job, whatever it is you are trusting God for, I pray you will not be ashamed. Amen. You will not be disappointed. Amen. God will honor his word in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we go this week, my God will honor your step. Amen. To those who will honor you. Amen. Come on, to those who will honor you. Amen. To those who will bless you. Amen. To those who will promote you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will move from glory to glory. Amen. From honor to honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those who gather to mock you. My God will smite them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for all students here. The hand of God will join you with you. Amen. On this journey, you will not do it alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will have good success. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing will frustrate you. Amen. Nothing will delay you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. the Lord shall be your shepherd this week. Amen. So therefore you will lack no good things. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare and I declare, only the goodness of God, His mercy, His grace, His anointing, His increase, His greatness, shall follow you all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No evil is permitted to follow you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Paraventure, something is following you. That is not the will of God. From today, I can't do those things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give you rest on every side. You will not lose your peace. Come on, you will not lose your sanity. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody is here. You are saying amen. Enemy want to do something in your life. I come against that thing. It will not manifest. Amen. You better say amen. It will not manifest. Amen. Let me stand behind the pregnant woman. Behind you. It will not manifest. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus amen. Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That which you just close your eyes. That which enemy want to achieve in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the one who sent me. Back to Sandra in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That evil pronouncement. In the name of oh, Jesus. Is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody is here. 
Some people are here, we pray that prayer on Tuesday. Some people are taking your picture from one altar to another. From one abalist to another. From one fake prophet to another. Just to bring you down. I decree. But the authority of God in my life and His grace. That which they plan for you. They will have it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From every danger that is waiting for you and I. God will deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. We are covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. This week is declared as a week of miracle. Amen. Come on. A week of miracle. Amen. A week of testimony. Amen. And so it shall be. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Anyone who blesses you shall be blessed in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. And whoever causes you, they will have the cause of God upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. I put the mark of Jesus upon you. And I decree as a prophet of God from today, let no one trouble you anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. May your church continue to grow from grace to grace. Jesus said, I will build my church. And the gate of faith shall not prevail. Over divine assembly ministries. Thank you, Lord. The work of the evil one. We never prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Something came to my mind. If you love me and my family, just go ahead and pray for us. Go ahead. Call the name of Jesus and pray. Pray for me. Pray for my wife. Pray for my children. One minute before we share the grace. If you love us, pray. Strike the shepherd and the floor will be scattered. That will not be our portion. Evil shall not be my portion. I'm protected, my wife is protected, my children are protected. This ministry is protected with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus after that prayer. We are more than conquerors. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Victory, victory. Hallelujah. 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 Everything 
Let's um, appreciate God. If you have anything, just raise your hand up. Father, we bring before your throne ourselves, our lives as a living sacrifice, our tithes and offering, asking the oh Lord that you grant us grace and access to give for those that don't have today. And those who have come in obedience, O oh Lord, may the reward of obedience reach them all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Unconditionally, and just a little, we have come in appreciation. We ask that you receive our gifts, O Lord, and bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Those that doesn't have, we ask, O Lord, for your mercy and grace, that doors will be opened unto them, O Lord, Amen. that they will have to bring to your storehouse in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Clap for my wife. Come on, if your wife is here, hold your wife. Your husband is here. Sorry? Single prayer. Let's try something. We want to share the grace. Please, if you want to join Walker, any department, please see us after the service. You want to join choir, you want to join prayer group, any usher, we need usher. We need uh, welfare team, we need teacher for our students children to teach them Sunday school. Very, very important. They can't be coming to church and be roaming around. Please, come and see us. The Lord will bless you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's going to be a great week. Amen. For you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You want to send anything to church? Clap for my wife. Come on. After your wife, are you shy? Can we share the grace? Hold somebody. Hold somebody. Amen. Are we ready? Yes. Let's share the grace. May that grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Take your time. You're on your own now. You can leave it. Leave your wife, leave your husband. <laughs> Mercy is personal. Is that not true? Yes. Let's go. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will enjoy the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Be powerful. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 The Lord go with you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.